All right, everyone. So our first guided practice question today is to take 15% and give this as a fraction in lowest terms. Again, we want to take our we want to take our percentage and we want to make that into a fraction first. So all you have to remember is that percent means out of 100. So we're going to have something over 100, and what we'll have is our number, which is the percentage. So we'll have 15 over 100. Easy breezy, but we're not in simplest form here. So again, we have to go back and think through what numbers could we divide both the top and the bottom by in order to get something new. We have to do the top and the bottom by the same thing. And again, we've got a five, we've got a zero. If I can't uh, drill this into your head, I don't know what I can do. Five and zero are always, if you see those at the end of your two numbers, you can always divide both by five. So let's start with that. So I have five and five. 15 divided by five is three. Three times five is 15. And of course, 100 divided by five, you guys should know this one off the top of your head by now. So we've done it three times today so far, 20. Now, three again is one of those special prime numbers, which means that I can't divide it by anything other than three and one and get a whole number. That means my number will automatically be in lowest terms. If my top or my bottom number, again, is anything prime, can't divide it by one or itself, those are the only two things I can divide by to get a whole number, that's gonna be the end of my simplification. So 3 20ths is going to be the simplified form of the fraction, or sorry, of the percentage, 15%. Go ahead and try the next question. 